Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natasha and I'm an international beauty photographer from Berlin. Here on YouTube I want to help other photographers to take better photos and to achieve their goals by sharing some of my most helpful tips and tricks. Today I will show you how you can do a unique product shooting with an aquarium and a lot of water. For me product photography is all about finding new and interesting ways to present and complement a product. So if you want to know how you can make a photo like this, stick around. In my product photo shoots I always try to show a little bit more than just a product in a beautiful setting. The skincare series we are shooting today is for example very hydrating and therefore we have decided to work with water to show this aspect. But I have also for example already shot eyebrow pencils in the colors espresso, dark chocolate and almond in the ingredients they are named after or I arranged skincare products with the contained ingredients. Especially with something like this, it's always important to be creative and think outside the box. I just love product images with a deeper meaning. There are a few things you will need in order to do this aquarium photoshoot. First of all, you will need, of course, a camera. And then you will need a tripod because it's better to keep your camera in one place when working with motion. You will need an aquarium or a big glass container and a lot of water. I use distilled water because it's clearer than tap water. Then you will need a simple background. I used a paper background in a light pink color and you need minimum one light source. I used two for this video. The only things that are missing now is a friend or an assistant to drop the products in the water while you're shooting. And of course the product itself. Now that we have everything we need, let's set up. As I mentioned before, the brand color is a light pink tone and so I used a light pink color as my background. And I'm working with two studio lights. The first one to assure a well-lighted background and the second one is the main light, which also helps us freeze in the fall of the product and the water drops in motion. I always recommend tether shooting because you will be able to check the sharpness of the picture in between your shots and see which photos turned out good and where you need improvements. I worked with a shutter speed of 1 to 100 in a second and aperture 16 to get everything nice and sharp. My ISO is at 100. Now I told you everything about my setup, but now let's do the shoot. While my assistant drops the product in the water, I tried to take a series of photos which turned out to be a bad idea because the continuous shooting function of my camera was too slow to capture the product in the exact moment it touched the water. So most of the time I catch either the moment just before the product touched the water or the moment where the product was already too deep in the water and almost out of frame. We decided to count down to three together and then take just one picture in the perfect moment. It may take a couple of tries to get the results you want, but it turned out to be the best option to do this. For this shoot I used a variety of different skincare products that were different in height and shape, so they all fell and sank differently. We started with a serum bottle, which is made of glass and was pretty heavy. It sank really fast and unevenly due to the bottle cap being lighter than the glass body. So we tried different ways to drop it in the water to have it sink more smoothly and without rotating. The way to go was to drop it from different angles and heights, but that brought its own challenges, because the further away we dropped the bottle, the more it splashed outside of the tank, which made everything wet. So if you want to do a shoot like this, you should be prepared with some towels. Another problem we had when dropping the product in the water was to keep the logo in the front. The product turned as soon as they hit the water, but it also depended on the product, some would go sideways and some would tilt forwards. So the serum bottles leaned more sideways and the next product we tried was always tilting forward or backwards since it was a cream container which had more air inside the packaging and was in general lighter. So for each product I had to find different methods that worked for me and created the outcome I wanted. But after we figured out what looked best for the serum bottle and the other products and we got some good single shots of every product, 
we started getting more creative and tried to drop three serum bottles at a time. Which was definitely a challenge for my assistant, but the first few tries turned out great and it was a lot of fun. We tried the same thing with the ampules and I really liked these results. The fun thing about this product shooting is that you can get really creative with your lighting, equipment, products and the setup. You could also try to drop fruits, vegetables or color drops into the water tank. Your creativity has no limits. I also created a Pinterest board with my favorite inspiration of water splash and aquarium photography. I will link it in the description of this video and if you need some more inspiration, you should definitely go and check it out. And if you feel inspired to do this shoot now, you can tag me in your videos and photos and share your own version of this aquarium shoot. I can wait to see what you have created with this inspiration. And I will from now on continue to do more helpful videos for you, so make sure to subscribe my channel to never miss a video again.